Archivematica 0.9 allows for the addition of premise metadata from the updated version of premise 2.2 rights. So in the transfer tab, I've taken a transfer all the way to the end of the transfer microservices and I'm going to create a single SIP and continue processing, which will send this particular transfer, cat parade files, to be ingested as a SIP in the ingest tab. You'll see the one is popped up at the ingest tab. I'll click on the ingest tab of the dashboard and here is my SIP, cat parade files. So, in order to add premise rights metadata, you must add them before doing any normalization actions. So, at this point, you'll click on this icon, metadata, and down on the left side, you'll see rights, list, and add. We're going to add rights. Now you'll see in the drop down under basis, you can select copyright, statute, license, donor, policy, or other. Both donor and policy will be expressed as other rights in the premise file, but we found that they were useful for our users. In this case, I'll enter copyright metadata. Under copyright status, type under copyright. Jurisdiction is Canada. Copyright determination date. Copyright end date. You can also click open end date. For the copyright documentation identifier, this would be, would be any number that's associated in your repository with this copyright identifier. Oops, sorry. statement. And you could of course include any notes here. I'll just say permission to publish must be obtained from the copyright holder. Clicking next will save this page and move to the next page of entry which is where you identify the act. In this case, we are addressing publishing. We're going to allow publishing. And enter a start date and an end date or click open end date if there is an open end date. Once you save this, you'll see that you have the option to create a new grant or restriction. If you click that, then you'll see that you get the whole entry screen again. And so we're able to enter yet another act under copyright basis. So let's say allow dissemination and we'll give that a start date open end date and we'll save that and it'll give it yet another and we can add as many of these acts as we would like to this copyright basis restriction or rights. If we're finished however, in this case we are, click done and that saves it all and then you'll see that under the SIP name you've got every act listed with its basis, its restriction, its start date, its end date and the ability to go back in and edit or to delete that act entirely. Once you're finished, you can go back to the ingest tab and continue processing as you otherwise would. 
So that's premise 2.2 writes in Archivematica 0 0.9.